All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to start on the floor, sitting on our butts. So, going to start with core, no gear, just our bodies. And we're going to start with a cat cow in a seated position. And make sure when you're doing this, you're going to have room to stretch out behind you. So, cat cow, arch the back all the way back. Come forward and stick your chest forward. Arch the back. Chest forward. So good for the lower back. And after we do this, we're gonna go right into a core exercise called the hundred. Everybody's favorite. So now if you want it instead of holding onto your legs. You can do this with your palms up. So palms up, down, come up. Chest forward, palms up, down. Oh, so good for the lower back and strengthening the core. So I haven't done this in a while. I'll see if I can go all the way down onto my back and stretch up. Reach, stretch, reach as high as you can away from your body. Arms up, we're gonna come into the hundred. So you're lifting your shoulders almost to the bottom of your ribs, pushing the belly button into the floor. And we're gonna do the hundred. So pump those arms. <laughs> Where is that girl? Keep pumping. Shoulders up, rib, off the ribs a bit. Pump. 100. Okay, back down, arms over the head. Big circle. Come up. Back down. All the way down, reach. Big circle. Up. Oh, at least my lower back lets me do sit ups now. Yay. <laughs> All right. Snow angels. Woo. This is just a nice warm up because we're going to do some arms in a bit here. Just warming those shoulders up a bit. All right. Let's do a bit of a lower body stretch. So I'm going to bring one leg knee forward and one leg out if this bothers your lower back you just lift that leg up okay we're going to switch switch oh my upper back is feels like it needs to be cracked back to the Cairo. <laughs> uh, i hadn't gone to my chiropractor since august and that is a really good thing because I didn't need to go and I, I had that car accident almost nine years ago. And the fact that I went that long without any treatment is wonderful. All right. Single leg stretch. Kick. Okay. Good. Bring both your knees to your chest. We're going to do a double leg stretch. Now, if this for some reason bothers your lower back, you're just going to straighten your legs straight up. Otherwise, hug those knees, come all the way out and back in. All the way out, back in. I'm not sure. All the way out. Back in. This is a Pilates influenced workout today. Out, back in. One more time. Whoop, back in. Nice. Hug those knees. 
We rock side to side. All right, we're going to do something similar, but this time I'm going to rest my hands just behind my head or your fingers around your ears. And we're going to do like a bicycle crunch. So same kind of thing, but now we're going to do crisscross. Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whenever I do something like that and say you can't do the lower body, but you can do the upper or vice versa, do that. All right, so we did that. Now we're going to put our knees back to our chest, hug, and side to side. So this is just a little bit of core and warm up. I don't know why my upper back is killing me. Crazy. My body's falling apart since I went to Mexico. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on to our side for a clamshell. So you can go on your forearm, put your heels together. You can do it like this, or you can lift your feet right up off the floor. And we're going to do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So stay in this position. Take your top leg and put it over your body so your foot's flat on the floor. And that straight leg, I want you to do five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Now do five the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, back to side. Now you can go in a side plank. On your elbow or on I'm gonna go on my hand just because this one elbow is a bit sensitive and or you could go bend your knees and go up and do a side plank that way as well okay so we're gonna do a side plank here we go now I want you to reach your hand over and lift that hip up and bring the hand back two three four Five. Good. We're going to go right into a full plank on our elbows or forearms or on your hands. Here we go. Going into a full plank. One hold. Oh. I'm going to drop to my knees, go down to my hips, come on to my elbows, and just do a quick sphinx. So this is like a core body warm-up, whatever you want to call it, but just a really nice start to the day. All right, and then go right into child pose. It's the beginning of the week, so please stay in child pose. I just want to see what's happening with her. Oh, okay. Well, I don't see her yet, but maybe she'll show up in a bit, but I am recording it for her. Okay, so you're in child pose. Let's take your hands to the right or left. Take your hands to the other side. I'm going to start right at the beginning again. Here we go. So, cat cow. So, hands at the back of your legs. Stretch it as far down as you can go. Tilting that pelvis. And then come all the way up and push your hips the opposite way. And arch that back. And then again. Gotta wake the body up before I kick your butt. 
<laughs> Plus, we're going to do arms next, so. Okay. <clears throat> Put your palms up and let's try it without holding the legs. A whole different story. You're not hanging on. One more time. This time I'm going to come all the way down and reach over my head. Big snow angels. Let's come right up into the hundred. So you're going to lift your hands and shoulders up to the bottom of your ribs and we're going to pump one. Nice. Almost there. Got to go to, it's called the 100 for a reason, because you have to do 100 movements. <laughs> Got 20 left. 10 left. Nice. All the way down. I'm going to bring one knee towards my chest. Nice 90 degree angle. The other leg's going to extend out. Now, some reason that bothers your back or anything, you can just put your legs straight up. Okay, here we go. Alternate. Alternate kicks. We're going for 20. Five. Her side, of course. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Hug those knees to your chest. Let's rock side to side. Loosen up that spine. Give ourselves a couple second break. <laughs> okay, this time it's two legs. So we're going to reach out. So again, you can just kick your legs straight up based on your lower back health, right? So here we go. Hug the knees, extend out. One, two, three. Big round arms if you want. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, I think I'm swimming. 10, going to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Whew. Hug those knees side to side. Okay. Bicycle crunches. We can do it. Fingertips around the ears or hands behind the head. Whatever works best. One leg out, one leg in. Elbow up, reaching and looking towards the wall beside me and switching sides. Here we go. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, all right, good job. All right, now we're gonna do the clamshells, but we're gonna do them on the other side. Okay, 
Heels together. You can lift your feet up off the floor or keep them down. Turn the rib towards the floor. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, side plank. So you can go on your knee. For some reason, you can't do any kind of side plank. You could do a Russian twist here. So I'm going to go up into a side plank. Here we go. I'm going to reach over my head and push my hip up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now I'm going into a regular plank on your forearms or on your hands. If you have to just go on your knees and have an angle, you can do that too. So regular plank and here we go. Tilt that pelvis, hold. Try and keep my spine straight. That's pretty good focus to do that. Here we go. Wee. Almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees. Come down on your forearms. And drop those hips to the floor for the Sphinx. Feels good for that lower back too. I really like that stretch. So a lot of stretching in today. It's Monday for break sakes. <laughs> Here we go. Child pose. And we're going to come up in standing position. This is when you're going to need your dumbbells. I'm going to use five pounders in the beginning because we want to see um what kind of weights we need you can go up in weights if you want or you could do it without any weights if it bothers your neck oh, yeah here we go okay so got my dumbbells so i want you to imagine that you're hugging a tree and then i want out in just like that okay hug into tree so you got nice rounded arms here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good now we're gonna hug a tree over our head here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Arms at your sides, palms up. We're going to go forward and pull back with a row. Here we go. Forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you see why we're using fives? Because we're doing continuous arms okay so slightly bent knees hinge forward bring those elbows up because we're going to do our triceps here we go one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nice strong core, nine, 10. Good. Stay in this position. Palms up behind you, and we're going to pump up behind us. So my knuckles are towards the floor. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Kind of gives you an idea of the round. We're going to do it one more time, except higher reps. Or you could do the lower reps with a heavier weight. Here we go. Here comes the magic. <laughs> okay. So remember the first one was hug a tree like a chest fly, right? So whenever I'm doing any kind of upper body work, I do keep my knees slightly bent. So we're going to try for 20. Hug that tree. Here we go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, home stretch, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. All right. Overhead. Hugging overhead like hug a tree again, right? Here we go. So I'm hugging a tree over my head. Look at my tree. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay, rowing. Palms up. Here we go. Forward, row back. One, two, three, four. Oh, my arms are burning. Five, two, six, seven. Now you know we're using fives. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that one I felt. I'm going to have a sip of water. We're just tricking our muscles. They're saying, what? I don't remember doing this. <laughs> okay, soft knees, slightly bent. Hinge at the hip, elbows up, tricep extension. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Do a bit of a shoulder roll. Woo. Feel that crunch. <laughs> okay, one more. Same position with the soft knees. Hinge at that hip. Knuckles towards the floor, palms towards the ceiling. We're going to do 20 pumps. Here we go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew, good. That's it for uh, that set of arms. Now we got time for a nice little burn. Here we go. Two minutes of a cardio move, a minute and a half of legs, and one minute of core, but I'm going to set my timer here. Have some water. Here we go. Forgot. So we got here. Two, one. Oh, it's two minute and a half. I had my settings a little off here. I'll fix that. Save. And I want this last one for one minute. There we go, save. Okay. So first one is butt kickers. Okay. And then we're going to go right into, you can either do alternate lunge or you can just go right to the floor and alternate single leg glute bridges. And after that, we're going to do sit-ups and you can use dumbbells if you want, or you could just uh, do it without dumbbells. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do this a few, three times. Here we go. Starting with butt kickers. One. So you can jog them or you can just row, but keep that pace up. If this doesn't work for you for cardio, you can put out the fire. You do high knees. You could do standing jacks. Any of them. Okay. So here we go. Anyways, I like to give lots of choices. I'm not sure why my. <laughs> run, run, run. Got just over a minute left. have a good burn before we go right the other stuff was really about building core strength and arms this is just to make you sweat and burn some calories there we go Whew. two minutes is a long time when you're jogging 30 seconds Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Whew. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Whew. Okay. Going right into alternate lunges or go on the floor and do your alternate glute bridges. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Alternating legs. Do this for a minute and a half. And we're going to sit ups. My favorite. I like to put dumbbells in my hands and then I tap over my head and then sit up with those dumbbells in my hands. So maybe you want to do that too. Or you could just do normal sit-ups with an overhead tap with your hands. Here we go. Forty-five seconds left. It's halfway. Thirty-five seconds. Twenty. 
25 seconds. Fifteen, ten, Ooh, almost there. Oh, I can feel my legs now. Go dig, nab it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. Okay, let's go to those sit-ups. We got thirty seconds to get ready for that. So, just saying. Can't be totally mean. <laughs> To give you time to get there. So, sit ups, overhead tap, and then just coming right up into a sit up. Okay, with or without dumbbells, really up to you. Here we go. Forty five seconds. I like more. <laughs> Maybe I accidentally made that interval longer. That's funny. Maybe it's two minutes. Whoops. Uh, I have to fix that after this. I guess we'll have to do two minutes the first round. Oops. Twenty five seconds. I don't think it's two minutes, but I think it's good though. 15. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Good. Whew. That was awesome. Okay, let's do it again. That's weird that it never started. Did it? Oh, okay, I can just have full control. That's nice. I like that. Okay, back to butt kickers or whatever cardio you want to do. Here we go. Another good cardio too that doesn't involve the lower body would be to be punches, lots of punches. Just saying. You can punch straight ahead, uppercuts, whatever. And if you're super in a bad mood, you can imagine someone's face there. <laughs> or someone's butt cheeks. <sighs> Uh, almost halfway. Whew. Less than a minute. Right on schedule. Dang. <laughs> we trying to kick myself in the butt. <laughs> 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. Whew. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Almost there. Yay. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Good. Alternate lunges or those glute bridges. Say you couldn't even do glute bridges, you could do clamshells, right? You just got to switch halfway through. Yeah. Alternate. You could even just sit and do a wall sit for this whole thing if you wanted. Just work those legs that way too. Less impact on the joint. Just isometric. Ooh. Wee. <laughs> la la la. One minute. All right. Here at the halfway mark, if for some reason you're doing clamshells. Ooh. Oh. That jogging sure gets that heart rate up. Okay. We're on that home stretch. All we got left is sit-ups. And then you've completed your workout. What? 20 seconds. Yeah, so I guess that interval's a minute and a half. Whoops. Oh well, we could do a minute and a half of sit-ups. We're tough ladies. And men, if any men watch us. Two, one, let's go. Okay, you have a sip of water. I'm gonna go for those sit-ups. We've got a 30 seconds to do that, so. My music stopped, but that's okay. We don't need no stinking music. We're just finishing up anyways. 10 seconds. So I can do my, you can tap your hands. You don't have to use dumbbells. Or you could even go heavier than me. But I just stuck with fives for today's workout. Which is plenty. We're just working on lengthening and strengthening. Oh, I'm so glad my lower back's better because <laughs> when I first got back from my trip, I couldn't even do a sit-up because there's a big lump there. So, yay. <laughs> That's what happens when you stretch and I did go to the chiropractor too. That helped. I don't know. Some people, chiropractors work for them. Some people don't. It's all up to you your body all right 40 seconds almost there hey. tap sit up tap 20 seconds left la 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 almost there Eight seconds. Two and one. Good. It just roll those. <laughs> it rolled right over my phone. That's hilarious. All right. I'm going to put my arms straight out at my sides. I'm going to lift one leg. I'm going to just drop that sucker right across my body towards the floor. But trying to keep those shoulders down, which is why both my arms are out at my side. That was a nice little burn at the end. Sometimes you got to add those because when you're doing, um, when you focus on just strength, uh, strengthening and the muscles and lengthening them, I guess you could say. Sometimes the workout doesn't feel like you're working as hard as you think, but you really are. All those uh, arm movements we did in core, you just strengthen a whole bunch of muscles you usually don't work on. All right, I'm going to come back to center and pull that knee to my chest. And then I'm going to take that same knee. I'm going to pull it towards the opposite shoulder. Stretch. 
This is really good for your lower back. The stretch. That chiropractor, he showed me this. Uh, most of the stuff that I already do, but it was nice to be have reinforcement that I'm on the right track. And the leg drop across your body. That was the other one he showed me. All right, back to center. Arms out at my sides. I'm going to take my other leg and go up and drop it across my body to the floor. Oh. Stretch that lower back and hip. It's weird without music, but what do you do? Seriously considering producing my own fitness albums. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Like tasteful musicians, not a computer, putting together music that won't get dinged on uh, on YouTube. It's not that cheesy karaoke sound either. Maybe you guys don't hear it, but I do. Okay, knee to your chest. Pull it in. Pull that knee towards the opposite shoulder. This would be like almost mimicking uh, if you're on your tummy, doing a pigeon in a way. So pulling and stretching the same muscles. So pigeon's a really good one for lower back as well. Okay. Another, another day complete. Good job, girls. And guys, if you ever, if I ever get guys, good job to you too. <laughs> mm.